We've got to unite in order to win the victory for freedom. There were two kinds of women in the civil rights movement. There were black women and there were white women, and the black women and the white women felt a different relationship to these issues. However, from what I can understand, the black women were as disgruntled as the white women. A number of the women in the civil rights movement and elsewhere began to aggressively and forthrightly work in terms of uh, developing a women's movement to focus on women's rights. From the time I was a young teenager, I could feel these sort of forces of history accelerate. The women of America are marching, more of them in the East than anywhere else, marching for their rights. And yet, I could also feel young women were being kept to the side of these historical changes. Past August St. Patrick's Cathedral, seeing themselves aligned with blacks and other oppressed people of other times. Men were very prominent and women were explicitly put in a secondary role. And it's at that point that I began to ask, to notice the fact that women, although showing a lot of leadership in all these areas, were always hitting what we would now call a glass ceiling. Waves of feminism have always come parallel with the waves of the civil rights movement. In the late 1800s, the suffragists and the abolitionists rose together. Frederick Douglass was working hand in hand with uh, Susan B. Anthony and their movements were going at parallel paths at parallel times. There were a number of black leaders, such as Frederick Douglass, who was extremely supportive of women's rights in general, and black women in particular. After him, W.E.B. Du Bois. In other words, the historical leaders of the movement have always valued black women as political colleagues and, and partners. There were also black women who came out of the abolition of slavery movement. One of the most important was Sojourner Truth, because at the end of the Civil War, there was a decision to be made whether or not black men would be given the vote. Black women fought very hard to help black men get their vote. They they also fought very hard to help women get the vote in 1921. And out of that came the first wave of feminism, which was let's get women the vote, let's get women the civil rights. Uh, we don't get the vote until 1920. The next huge emergence of feminism is during those civil rights movements in the 60s and 70s. They wind up in Central Park to listen to Gloria Steinem and other high priestesses of the movement. So the second wave of feminism sees liberal feminism and radical feminism really taking hold in a way that, that you could see the seeds planted in the 19th century, but in the 60s it becomes activism. Women, black people, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, and all the minorities, that all of us must stand up together and say, no more. It becomes uh, not just theory, but actually practice. A great many of the women who became important feminists begun their career of activism as uh, recruits of the civil rights movement. In the process of being in the civil rights movement, found themselves severely hampered by restrictions placed upon their ability to exercise power or to be taken seriously because they were women and they found that the structure of the civil rights movement, although it was meant to change the status of people full in favor of equality, nonetheless, they were expected to make coffee. They were expected to, some people say, sleep with male civil rights workers at will. They were expected to take a back seat at any time in which uh, it was needed to represent the goals. The publicity of the civil rights movement, the model of fighting against discrimination, uh, the very word that we use, the name that we give, we use the name sexism to name that problem, uh, was a word that didn't exist in this period. And when it was invented in the late 60s, it was a deliberate imitation of racism. There's racism and then there's sexism. We would not have had a women's movement in the way that we did that was so utterly widespread and transforming had there not been a civil rights movement.